And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of Interest for today with Mike Smith in Analytic Go Markets. It is Tuesday, the 24th of January, and let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw a second day of rallies on Wall Street with continued optimism of a soft landing economically, with dates of potential recessions being pushed back. In fact, the Eurozone have already stated that they don't think they'll drop into recession, which is interesting. We saw major indices breach key levels, certainly on the NASDAQ and the S&P. We saw a push through. The Dow is at a key level at this stage. And of course, we're seeing earnings reports ramp up this week. And we've got some big players coming across the wires before market open and after market close today. U.S. futures are near neutral in early Asian trading and Asian indices are higher following that U.S. lead. The ASX was a bit neutral ish for the first hour or so after open but has since popped up to around about 0.4 percent of the upside we're seeing miners particularly the specialist miners such as lyc and the lithium stocks doing particularly well today european equity futures are pointing to a higher open and the vix is comfortable below that key 20 level us dollar index hasn't really moved much over the last four days it's paused at these eight month lows it is slightly weaker again today so far uh, the yen actually looks a little stronger than it has done over the last couple of days, but that could be temporary. Gold pauses at eight, nine month highs around that 1935 level. Again, looks as though it could be in a position to test that. Uh, look at earlier Asian action copper tests 430 to the upside, just a little bit beneath that at this stage. And we've seen oil edge higher towards the next key level, which on the Brent crude CFD contract is $90 a barrel. Bitcoin has been a great place to be and it looked as though it was going to pause at five month highs after yesterday's incredible gains again. Uh, but we're seeing it starting to just pick up a little bit of momentum again. Uh, so it could be worth having a relook at in a few hours to see if that momentum is continuing. As you've already intimated, there is a major ramp up in earnings season this week. We've got today, we've got Johnson & Johnson General Electric, Lockheed Martin, Verizon and Microsoft all reporting the latter after the bell. And if you are trading Nasdaq futures, just be aware that most tech stocks, particularly big tech, report after the bell and will get a movement in the NDX futures after the equity markets have closed because of that. Additionally, importantly, we've got some PMI data coming out across the board. We've already had Japanese and Australian numbers out. We're expecting UK, Germany, the Eurozone as a whole and the US later on on throughout the day and what we need to see really is something that plays into that narrative of soft landing if we get numbers that are too soft then that could precipitate some sort of sell-off perhaps but at this stage certainly with the numbers today so far then that appears to be okay a couple of charts of interest have caught our eye lyc has been a good place to be since it tested this 200 ma after retracing it has had a significant move to the upside and continues to look strong today if we look at today's candle and we are now up testing that nine dollar level these guys are in the rare earth space this could precipitate a move up to possibly the mid nines uh, if we breach this level so let's say uh, around about 950 there would be the next level of interest uh, that's about another five percent obviously the lithium stocks again as we've been reporting all week are looking very strong so companies like igo pls are also worth a look in the fx space uh we're just keeping in the fx space we're keeping an eye on the aussie yen uh, we're pretty close to 92 uh if we breach 92 there's a really nice move up to run about 92.70 in the short term why 92 is it's because it's a nice round number and that's why even though the technical resistance is at 91.87 it's worth waiting those 13 pips or so till we breach 92 for that high probability trade. Remember, markets like nice round numbers, and so we need to honor those to some degree. And if something is as close to a round number as this pair is, then it's worthwhile just waiting and give us that extra chance of seeing that momentum continue. As I said, around about 70 pips in this if it does breach 92. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.